Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about mono hybrid and dihybrid crosses. Mono means one, single or only. Then, mono hybrid would mean an offspring of two species that only has a difference in one gene. And a dihybrid is a crossing by animals between two traits, like a lion and a tiger being bred together to make a liger. But why do crossovers always have different names, like Liger or Tigon? Simple dominance is when a dominant allele mass over or stands on top of a recessive allele, like a dominant blue eye trait that is seen inside an offspring, but a recessive brown trait is not, which is why the L would be pronounced first if the dominant genes was shown in the lion and tiger offspring. Or the other way around if the dominant allele traits instead of tiger was in the offspring. Man, I haven't even reached the inner layer of all this jing talk. Who even discovered this stuff anyways? Do you care to continue for me, Sean? That would be Gregor Mandela, also known as the father of genetics. In the 19th century, people didn't really know what genetics were or why some of their children would look at their mother while others would look at their fathers. This was until Gregor Mandela so that this happens from genetics and traits. Without him, I would even know that they're cool traits I have from both parents. Matter of fact, what are some traits? Let's show the audience using the Pundit Square. No labs, key money, and we'll be back in a snap. The small b, which is homozygous, recessive, and the top of the square is the mother's side. And the big B, which is homozygous, dominant on the left side, the father side. The homozygous, obsessive, which is curly hair, and the homozygous, dominant, which is straight hair. My dad has straight hair genes, and they are dominant straight in me. I wonder which gene is more dominant in me. But since the recessive curly hair gene that my mom has doesn't show in me, it seems like the straight hair gene is more dominant in me.